Mm -hmm. Is yes. that correct? Um, but I didn't know exactly what his request would be, though. That's what I was. Yeah, we on. we would need to know since that job lasted a long time. Since there's been inspection since then, the better way that almost all governmental entities handle this is to handle it as a sunshine law request. So we have a specific list or fair, reasonably specific request so that we know what we need to provide. Okay. So basically, buddy, that what that said is that can you email us a request specifically like number one, if you have this, I would like to see this from the, what is it, the design and the build of the Riverside Bridge. And then number two, number three, and that way we can work off of that request with uh, TOTH. Just keep in mind as Great River Engineering was the engineering firm that was um, during the construction and the design? Uh, or no design? Great River did the design. Okay. At some point, the county mm -hmm. took over administration. Cause start, it started out, the Great River started out with administering the contract. And then that phased over to the county partway through the project itself. Okay. So we may need to go back to the county and see because they, in, in, under the IGA, under our agreement, um, the county ended up taking over administration. So, if you could provide an email. To well, us. the uh, the letter that I sent, uh, Lynn Morris, has everything in it that you need to know. It talks in terms of an as built, uh, okay. the like current, like right now, and then an as built of what it was at the time that they shot the grade for the concrete placement on the end caps. Okay, so it's the email or the letter that you sent, Mr. Morris. Mm -hmm. Was it an email? It's a, a it's an email. It's an email. Okay. And that, that, that just states everything, and it has two other uh, pages that have links that are very important for a bridge that doesn't, for all apparent purposes, it has no expansion joints that's visible. And the ones that, the, 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 the bumps at the, in, and at the embutment where the asphalt, asphalt meets the concrete, that is getting worse. And I'm keeping a video documentary of it and talking about it. Not to make anybody look bad, but look, we need to know what the warranty is. If there is a warranty, and how is it going to be? Because we don't—I don't want taxpayers to have to jump in now and fix that thing. Okay. If Eric, do you know on the warranty issue? Uh, we'd have to—we'd have to look at the contract documents okay. um, with the contractor. Okay. All right. Well, time—time okay. time, is time sensitive. Okay. And based on the time, uh, some people say three years, some people say five years. And if it's on the short side, we're running out of time extremely fast. So I'd encourage everybody to get as much information and get the as built done. It's obviously we obviously we got a problem. Okay. All right. So if you don't have it, mm -hmm. I know it went to it was CC to, to the commissioners and Mr. Platter, I believe. And then after this meeting, I'll forward it to you, okay. and that way you guys can get started on it and. Priority. Sure. Get it done as soon as possible. Yeah. Give us the review as soon as possible okay. on the information that he's contained in the email. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess we'll go from there. We were not commissioners when all of this right. was. Yeah. I I came in at the back end of it too. As a matter of fact, the bridge was basically being completed when I came on as a commissioner. Okay. Um, but where he is in total, and there there are engineers. Yeah. So what they come up with, we back what they say because that's who we work with. Okay. I sent Tove uh, information in, in the form of an email, but if y'all give me your direct emails, you'll you'll have a better response. We we can talk about it. Okay. It is uh, I wasn't involved in all that either to begin with, but but. Uh, Miranda Beatles, our county engineer, because she's an engineer too. Mm -hmm. She, I heard that she took over some responsibility and didn't cost the project more money, but right. we were paying her, so that's really a bargain. And so that's, I think, where you, where she, where the county exactly. came into. 
exactly. because the county does not own the bridge. You all own the right. bridge. It, it, you know, the city and the county, that's not our bridge. It's in the city, it's in the county, but it's not our bridge. Right. It's your bridge. Well, once, and, and once, and we well collectively, we all work together yeah, and that's to get why the bridge, that's bridge why, back up. That's why, that's why I'm here, and that's why we want to make sure yeah. that we work together. But probably Miranda can bring some insight in on the part that she did do, and, and I know it didn't cost the project any. Right, right, yeah. Yes. Information that was being requested, there were additional things beyond what already exists. Uh, for example, there was a request for as builds and survey information. That's all stuff that would be additional beyond uh, information that already exists under a Sunshine Law request. Is just to, as a point of clarification, are you asking for us to also do those things or just the information that exists today? Uh... I don't know. I can speak on that. It needs to be elevation shot. Needs to be shot ASAP, and you, you know it needs to be. If you're third party, not involved with anybody, that's good. If you're if you're involved and you're taking bids from the county and from special road district, we need a person that's not involved. So the numbers don't get. Everybody sees it as it is. That's why you say as built. Well, I remember when you and I were talking, you were talking about have, getting the survey when the bridge was completed and then having another survey done and having the two analyzed to identify if, in fact, the, what, the... It, it's it's uh, X, Y, and Z, actually. And it needs to be monitored based on the fact that we're we're in the you, we're still having hot days and at the night it's cooling. So the bridge is moving to the north and it's moving back to the south. So that particular type of as built has to has to be done along with the grade shot. The grade shot I just give you you know the elevation of it as it is, but needs a little bit more because that that bridge is traveling. A whole lot more than people think in the daytime and the nighttime. And as it gets winter time, uh, the cracks are everywhere at, at both ends of the bridge on the concrete deck itself. There's cracking that needs to be examined. Yeah, so I'm saying it's a it's a pretty hard alert. So, well, I would say that Toth would be independent in that they had nothing to do with well, the yeah. bridge being built or. They're going to be doing the right. independent well, so the design because they were we're design. not in, they weren't involved in the bridge right. at all. Yeah, when when it was yeah. built or designed. Okay, so I would say they would I, be an independent engineering. Company. I looked at their website and uh, all the different uh, projects they've done in the past. I'd say yeah, if they're independent and they can do it, um, that'd be good. I mean, that would be if we went back to Great River and said we need you to do this because they they're the ones that designed it and then. Began with the whole building. Well, what about the liability of the contractor? Hartman. That was, that was Hartman that did the construction. Uh, that's all I know about that. Well, Hartman did this bridge on Pond Bridge, and give you an example. That bridge has three expansion joints, both at the end caps and one in the middle. Riverside has nothing visible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. So until, well, we, until it makes sense with the numbers. I guess that's for you guys to do. Do whatever you got to do to, I guess, put this to bed or give us some answers. Yeah, I mean, we can certainly do a survey as the bridge as it stands today. And when the bridge was designed, there would have been a survey done at that point, but that would have been before the bridge existed. Will you be able to get the field books from the engineers, the actual field well, books that don't so, get changed? So that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure that Great River would have conducted an as-built survey the day the bridge well, was Well, they built. shot elevations for the placements of the end caps, and that has to be documented in a, in a legal field book by an engineer. We need Perhaps. that, actually, I'm honestly, sure that we need that information. Exists. We can okay. we can ask Great River, we can ask Hartman for what information they have, okay. but I'm not sure that there'll be, there'll be hard data available from when the bridge was finished for us to compare an asphalt survey today to. Okay. All right. So we'll ask them and see what the answers are from, the, uh, from them. Can you also check on the warranty mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. with regards to that? I don't know where that would be documented. Uh, I mean, that should be in the contract documents. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Mr. Uh, Blair, do we have that? Miranda. The contract right The construction contract or yeah. the... Uh, well, you, you, any of the above. Uh, the city and the district left the construction contract with Great River and the county, as I remember. Okay. So...